Alexa. Good evening, hey, everyone. Yeah, hi, hi, friends. Welcome to Shift. This is our last one of the month. So we'll start that out by a little bit of housekeeping. Next week is Thanksgiving. So we hope if you are uh, one that celebrates Thanksgiving, if you're in the United States, um, that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend and we will not be here, but we'll be back here on the second. Um, I will also point out real quickly, we had mentioned the last week that our guest speaker was going to be Jason Harwood this week, but he's actually going to be on December 2nd. Um, he probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but he forgot it was his anniversary and they were going to be traveling this week. And he's like, I really don't think Brooke's going to let that fly. And I was like, yeah, probably not. So um, told him not a big deal. We'd reschedule for next week and, or not next week, but December 2nd. So he'll be here that night. Um, so tune in for that. You and your team, do you want to invite them? All those things. Um, you can do that. And then before we jump into our question for the night, um, if you have any last minute, if you have any team members you want to invite, you want to shoot the link real quick, post on your team pages. If you're a leader to come join us. Um, I will also throw out there really quickly tonight. I'm going to tell you what our topic is going to be before we get into our questions, but our topic tonight is going to be on Canva. So we're going to talk through a bunch of things like creating the QR codes, some basics of that. So maybe some things that you're not quite aware we're going to walk you through creating um, a couple labels, both round labels. Jamie's going to walk us through a, mark, a watermark. We have Jody's going to do some clickable different things within there. So it's going to be a lot of stuff really quick. We're really hoping to get to it all. But the reason that I want to tell you that is because if you have the option, um, it might be something where you want to jump on the Zoom link from your phone and then be able to follow along and click on your computer possibly. Or if you can do like a split screen, if you have a moment to maybe work through that while we answer our question then you will, you'll have the time to do so. So we want to make it as beneficial for you guys as possible um, to learn that and to be able to create some awesome branding things for you and your business. Um, so our question for tonight is going to be a two-parter. We thought this would be easy for Thanksgiving and we would love if you would add your answers into the chat. Um, so, and maybe if even if you have a link for one of these, that might be kind of fun. But um, the first question is going to be, what is your favorite dish that you're looking forward to on Thanksgiving? And we had this conversation yesterday, actually, with Ross on our um, director and above work at Wednesday. And then our next question is going to be, um, what is something that you are grateful for because of your sense of business? So those are our two questions tonight. And so I'll uh, go ahead and say, hey, Jamie, why don't you go first? <laughs> Sorry, I know I just throw it out there. Sorry, I have all this stuff and my mouse was blocked. Um, yes, no, because you know exactly what I'm going to say. That's because I know what I'm looking forward to. Everybody's all excited about turkey and dressing and whatever, but Jamie likes the ham and the sweet potatoes. That's what I'm the most excited about, ham and sweet potatoes. And then my mama makes this chest pie that is my favorite. So that's what I'm definitely looking forward to the most. Heather. Okay, so I am totally a ham girl also. I love ham. I do always do ham and turkey, but it's always the sides. I love, oh gosh, if I had to pick one, only one. Oh, maybe the spicy corn recipe that I make is super good and yummy. Or the pumpkin crunch, I can't decide. I don't know. I love them all um who else is on jen there you are i was looking for i feel like we need to do like a recipe swap like oh we could post it uh, hello spicy corn it's really and good pumpkin crunch what like why mm -hmm. i've never even heard of these and so who agrees that we need a, like a recipe thing you guys don't want any of my recipes but anyway <laughs> once again i'm a loser <laughs> but here's my favorite thing that i look most forward to it's gravy so I only eat gravy on Thanksgiving. That's the only day of the year. Well, plus the leftovers after the fact. But although I'm kind of lying because when we were just doing college tours down south, I did have biscuits and gravy for breakfast one day, which I was totally cheating on my whole Thanksgiving rule. But I literally will put gravy on everything. I pretty much would just rather have a bowl of gravy and eat it like that. So that's my favorite. All right, Jody. Interesting. Ding. I would not picture you for a gravy girl, Jenna. Depp. Gravy is not on my list, but I do want to say, I want to start off with two things. First of all, for all of our Canadians, we know this is not your Thanksgiving. So you guys already celebrated. Mm -hmm. Happy late Thanksgiving. We hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you are new to the call, I know I personally have a few of you that are new. 
you can look on your bottom, if you're on your phone on the bottom, it'll say chat and that's how you can write into things. Um, we don't generally unmute and things like that because there's so many of us on here, but use the chat. And if you can't figure it out, um, I don't know how you can let us know. <laughs> but anyway, so what am I looking forward to? We don't typically do traditional Thanksgiving food. So this year my family's having London broil and I'll have chicken. But my favorite thing normally is all of the side stuffing, sweet potatoes, green beans, this pumpkin crunch that Heather speaks of would probably be number one, but I've never had it, but I bet I would love it. So that's what I'm looking forward to this year is just being home and having some chicken and salad. So that's it, Kale, you wanna take it away? Yeah, so I would say that my, well, I will also say we didn't say what we were grateful for from our Sensi businesses, but we can go back around. That's totally fine. Maybe when you, as we go through the call, you can throw that in there, right? When you talk about your little things. Um, I would say that my favorite thing, I actually really love, my sister-in-law makes these uh, candied water nut chestnut things where you wrap them in bacon and put a sauce on and bake them and they caramelize, they're delicious. Um, and then I make peanut butter jelly pie. And that's always one of the pies that we have for Thanksgiving. Yeah, Jamie, peanut butter, jelly time, peanut, right? That's one of my favorite things. So we make that every single year. Um, and then because I think I'm going to kick us off here with this, I will go ahead and just tell you what I'm grateful for. Um, I am grateful. I mean, since he's completely changed every single itty bitty thing about our entire lives, my entire family, right? Um, and so I would just say um, for the freedom, like the freedom that this business allows because of what we've built together. Like, that's just something that I think is, um, irreplaceable. Um, it's kind of like health, right? Like it's something you can't replace, but I think having flexibility and freedom to do the things that we want to do, um, is the most incredible part. And I'll also say, because we're going to talk about those different things, I'll insert here, um, income disclosure statement. <laughs> so you can just keep that in mind as well. Um, okay. So tonight we are going to dive, unless you guys want to do your things you're grateful for real quick as well. No, you're good. We'll do them real quick. We'll do them throughout the call. Oh, wait, go ahead. No, go Jamie, go. Oh, okay. Um, so what I'm most grateful for, I think goes right hand in hand with Callie. Is that what you're saying? We're going to go ahead and answer these. Okay, sorry. Um, this past weekend, my son got married and I was able that, I was so grateful to be able to like step away and know that it's still going to be here. And every little thing that I wanted to get done before would still be right here when I got done. And I was able to have that flexibility and freedom to be present with my family and, and celebrate that moment. So. Okay. Do you guys want to go or no? You want to do it with your thing? Okay. Jen, go ahead. You and me go for it. We're just all over. Oh, sorry. Well, I was, uh, whatever. Uh, it's honestly the same thing. It's flexibility. That's completely 100% what I was going to say. Like I am one of those people for those of you who are stuck in an office five days a week. I did it for over 20 years. I was stuck. And when my kids have some, had something come up and, and I actually worked 35 minutes from my house. So let's say like my son was reading a poem or my daughter was reading a poem or something. And all of a sudden I found out, you know, two hours before I couldn't just cancel a patient. Like I couldn't just leave. So that flexibility of being able to be anywhere and everywhere. And I, am busy. Many of you know, I am a busy person, but I love it. I love that I get to go all over the place. I'm in 70, 75 locations per day because I can, and I can go anywhere that I want. I can volunteer anywhere. I can do anything that I want. And it's all because I chose to sacrifice a couple of years of my life. And now I get to live the life that I have created. I love that. Yeah, mine's going to be pretty similar to Jen's and, and JP's and, and Callie's. It's the flexibility. It is being able to say yes to something because I want to and say no to things that I want to. Like it's, I work so hard all year long to this time of year to be able to go decorate people's Christmas trees where I literally am not working my business at all. Like I haven't even created the December newsletter yet because I'm just not home at all. And so I love it because this is my creative outlet. Most people would not be able to take off this long of a vacation um, from their job at all. And I, and it's, it's my creative outlet. It's my artwork that I get to do as a release, as a stress reliever. Um, and to be able to, you know, on December, mid-December leave and take my family on a vacation for Christmas and having that flexibility. He, 
we missed a lot of that with Jason being deployed in the military and stuff. And so to financially be able to afford to go somewhere on a vacation um, and have those memories now with holidays with other military families that we were stationed with, um, that to me is just, it's, it's, it's completely changed our family and the flexibility to be able to do so, but financially also because we, we are hard workers uh, and, and I, I'm willing to do the, the blood, sweat and tears. And I think that's, it was a sacrifice, but it has paid off and it still is paying off. I, I still have working just as hard as I was years ago. I don't think I'll ever stop doing that until I'm physically cannot do that, but <laughs> um, I'll just keep pushing and trucking along as hard as I can. But yeah, if it wasn't for Cincy, I don't think we would have any of that in our lives. Uh, I think that leaves me. So uh, I agree with everything that they said, because that is a huge thing that most people don't ever get to experience in their life is the freedom and flexibility to choose when you work, where you work, how you work and who you work with. And the fact that we honestly have a no ceiling income potential is just mind blowing to me. And like Jen said earlier, yes, many of us took, we, we sacrificed in the beginning days or the beginning years, you know, Jen doing 20 parties a month, me doing 20 parties a month or whatever it looked like for each of you. But those were sacrifices we were willing to make then because we believed somewhere in our core that it would pay off later and it is. Um, but over and above all of that, and this might sound super freaking cheesy and I don't mean it to, um, but it, it truly is the, the people I've met and the friendships. Um, I know so many different people all over the world that I wouldn't know any other way other than Sensi. And it really brightens my day, especially on Thursdays when we get on here. And I see all of your faces from all over the place. Some of you whom I know personally and some of you who I don't, but I feel like I do. I, I truly love that because, you know, grown up girls are kind of mean. <laughs> you don't really, I didn't really have a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> If you can imagine, I really liked guys better because they were way nicer. So having women who are willing to lift, inspire and rally around each other, it just, it really does make my heart like skip a beat because it's not something I think that many people find in their life. And we are really fortunate and lucky that, that Sensi's kind of brought that together for, for many of us. And, and I don't mean to leave out the men. I see Vance and I see Josh and I don't mean to leave any of you guys out. It's just, you know, you guys have it a little easier when it comes to making friends, I think. <laughs> so that's what I'm grateful for. So ta-da, that's it. All right, Kelly, take it away, baby. Yeah, no, I, I think you're completely on point. There's so many things that we could be grateful. All of us um, can say that this business has changed our lives in ways that we never would have thought when we got that kid. Um, and so just keep that in mind as you continue to work, you continue to hustle, you continue to grow and you get to celebrate your blessings this, um, hopefully every day in some aspect, right? But especially as we reflect upon it, um, this coming week for our United States Thanksgiving. So um, with that, we do have a lot of content tonight. So we are going to dive in. Um, again, if you have the option of following along with us, then please do, um, because we know that that hands-on learning thing can be beneficial. Um, and hopefully maybe you'll learn some new things tonight. And our goal is ultimately for you to be able to create some of the things that you see us use or talk about in our businesses throughout these calls. Um, in your own business without having to stress or be like, you know what, I can't do that. Um, and so I will say that one of the, one of the platforms that we all use for the most part, um, and that many other leaders will say that they use is a website called canva.com and canva.com does have a 100 per free percent I can't talk 100% free version for you to use. So you don't have to pay for this. There are paid features within canva.com, but, um, it is really reasonable if you do decide to go that route and you do decide to get the paid version, it 1000% is 100% tax write off, but you can do and create a lot of things that we're going to show you tonight without having to have a paid version at all. So do keep that in mind. Um, I will tell you that I have been doing graphic design for years. I'm self-taught. I actually have used for years a program called Adobe Illustrator. It is what a lot of people will use and design in that actually do graphic design. Um, and I, over the last several weeks um, and months have actually found that I've switched to Canva. Um, there are some things in there that I do miss from Adobe Illustrator that I'll kind of go back and forth between on in some aspects. But what I really love about Canva is they have all of the elements that you could possibly ever need 
right there built into their system. Um, obviously I say that, and then I think, well, actually they don't have like your Sensi stuff built in there. Right. But once you add them in there, you kind of already have your own little design library, which I'm going to show you. Um, and so that can be really, really helpful when it comes to creating these things, having things wherever you are. The other thing that we were also talking about yesterday with some leaders, as we were discussing, talking about this topic was, um, you know, you also, if you can doubt, if you download the app on your phone. You can have these things on your computer, which is where we're going to 100% say, please use your computer to use this. Um, it is way, way easier than your phone. But what I like about having the app also on my phone is yesterday I was running around and Jamie asked for something and I was able to say, oh, one second. And I went into my app and I was able to pull a link, send it to her so that she had access to do what she needed to do and have that feature. So um, it does have that dual purpose, but we will say 100%. If you can design on a computer, then please do. So um, I am going to go ahead and we're also going to say, you probably are going to have questions. If you hold them, maybe write them down or, you know, just don't hit send on them quite yet or something. It's going to be really hard to answer those as we go, just so that we can get through it all. Um, I'm seeing Reagan say iPad is also very great. So if you have iPad, but phones are just, they're really small. I was helping a leader the other day and it was really, really difficult. So I'm going to share my screen here and we are going to dive right in. So I am in the Canva homepage here. Um, you have several different things here, like all of your own designs. Um, that's over here on this list on the left-hand side. And you can see like there's designs and things that are saved for so, so long. Um, tonight I'm going to, we're going to actually create um, this. This is gonna be our final image here. I'm gonna walk you through how to create this start to finish. And some of the features in here, which are really, really cool, we're going to talk about and dive into even more with this QR code with what Jody has to share with us towards the end of tonight's shift. So, oh, and actually even like watermarks or something like this, Heather's going to show us some round labels. Jamie's going to show us some watermarks. So even like this round label that I'm moving my mouse around, that's going to be something you guys are going to get to, to see tonight. Um, okay. So the first thing that you would keep you can come in here and you can do from the homepage is they will have all of these templates kind of already here for you for sizing. Like if you don't know what to do or what to create, they'll kind of have these little templates here for you. Something that I find myself doing often, especially if I'm printing labels and things is using up here at the top, right? This create a design because you can click there and you can literally do a custom size. So if I'm doing a two by four Avery label, which... I should have printed some of these before we started the call. Oh, I have one here. Oh. So um, pause my share. So like this right here is something that I did for a customer profile. It's going to be hard to see. I get it. You're not going to be able to see exactly what it is, but it's on a two by four label. And I know that that's the size because that's my Avery size. You can just come back into Canva and put right in here how many inches you want it to be or for our Canadians and stuff, like how many centimeters you want it to be. Um, the width, the height, and you can create that brand new design. So today we're actually going to do a four by two because that's the label that we're creating two by four, four by two. Um, if you do it two by four, like the label says, it's going to do it horizontally, but we want this to be vertically. Um, and so that is what you would do right there. And this is what we're going to use today. But before I go to that, um, one of my favorite ones to use that I feel like a lot of people are not familiar with is this phone wallpaper. So let's say you wanted to create some goals. You want to put your dream board on your phone. You even are going to send something as an image, as a text message to a customer. This would be a great one to use because it's going to be the size of their phone screen. It's going to kind of format to that. And so that's become one of my new favorite ones. And some of the things that I'm going to show you tonight actually come from that. Um, the other cool thing is, and I just see them here, so I'm just going to point them out. If somebody shares a template in a, a, a what did you share page or in your team page, and there's a link for that, Anytime you click those, it'll add it automatically be added to your Canva. So like yesterday I was looking at some, some of Kimberly Polita's stuff. And so you'll see some of her stuff here because it automatically adds and it saves there. So you kind of already have always have access to that. Um, the other thing that I really love is with Canva, you don't have to hit save. And so that allows it, it just automatically saves for you. So if you get pulled away or you're doing something else, you're easily able to come back and start right where you left off because it auto saves automatically. So I'm going to click back over here to what we're going to start for tonight. So the first thing that I'm going to do with this label, this is actually something I'm going to throw on my catalogs. Um, so I want them to have access to multiple different information. Something that I always start with is our picture. So over here on the left-hand side, um, I'm moving my arrow up and down. You'll see where it says uploads. So I'm going to click uploads. And I actually already have a picture in here, right? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna scan, see all these QR codes I've created, it's a problem. So I'm gonna add our picture here. 
but I actually don't want this background in this picture. So you actually have a lot of really cool functionalities. I do think this actual functionality is, um, is a paid feature. So do keep that in mind. If it doesn't allow you to do it, that might be why, but you can hit edit image and you can remove the background. And by simply doing that, it's going to take out that background and it's just going to leave me and mom right there. So that's one thing I really, really do love. You can erase, restore. Um, there's also some other features in reg regards to making things brighter, making things darker, um, all of that. So there's multiple, multiple different options for you there. Um, we're going to make this a little bit smaller. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add um, a watermark or not a watermark. I'm going to add our kind of like label thing that I already have uploaded here. If I wanted to upload, I would just hit upload, upload media and I would select what I wanted to upload, hit open, and it will add it to this library that's always here for me. Um, I like to resize and cut out all of these images. And actually this one was created with, um, a different program so I can't fully edit it here in Canva, but what I can do is I can cover something that I don't want there, so you might be saying okay Kelly well what do you not want there, what are we talking about. That's actually not our phone number anymore so um, i'm going to go ahead and click this elements button and here in elements, you can actually search for anything so we're going to use like YouTube things and Facebook um, icons and all of that that's all searchable here, but let's just say I want a box i'll type box. Okay, and it will pull up all sorts of different boxes. If I hover over one, you'll see this little pro thing comes up. And that means I have to have a paid pro account to access it. But there's lots of things that are free. And you'll notice that they have this little free icon on it here. So I want this box. It's free. Um, I can change the color of this box however I want. So you can come up here to this little bar. I'm going to click the color box. And I can select some from some different palettes and things that I've used. And right now I just need white. I'm going to resize this. Actually, I think this is the one I don't like. It is the one I don't like. Okay. Elements start over here. We're going to delete that. I like this one. And the reason I like this one is for whatever reason, it allows me to size it differently. I don't know why I don't have the answer for that. I can take that and I can cover up something that I don't want and that will disappear. Super duper simple, super duper easy. Um, then the next thing that we're going to do is I could take, I can come over here, back over here to this left-hand side. This is where I'm always going to pull my palettes. You have different types of text things. So if I click any of these that are kind of already created, some of them are pro, keep that in mind. You can then just go in and edit them with whatever you're wanting or needing. Um, in this case, I just need a basic thing and I'm not going to put my phone number in here because it's going to go online and we'll just pretend like this is my phone number. Okay, fine resize. You can change your fonts. There's tons and tons and tons of fonts. Um, if you have a paid version, you can create a branding kit, which means if you use that branding kit, it will help you save fonts to which you use regularly to keep the same look, the same feel, the same colors. You can upload logos, logos if you really got creative and did all that. That again is a paid feature. So we're just going to layer that over here and we'll have that now edited with our phone number. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a QR code. So we actually found out today, Jamie, can I spoil your boat on this one, Jamie? Okay. So we all use Google Chrome. Um, I know that this was an option on iPads and like Safari and Macs and all of that, but actually now if you just right click, oh wait, it's not going to work on that right there. Okay. So it did it on here because this is working on my board and it's going to pull the tools from Canva, but let's say it's any other website. If you right click, now we're seeing this option here to create a QR code for whatever page you're on. So if you didn't know that was a thing, that's kind of an easy, quick way to create a QR code. And then there you go, you can download it, you can name it. So that is a new feature that's not built into Canva. That's really any website that Jamie shared with us. And we were all using Google Chrome, so that might be a new feature for you. But Canva does have a QR code feature. Now, because I use it so often, it is over here on the left-hand side, as one of my highlighted things. But if you go in for the first time, it may not be. And so that's where this more button here really comes into play for you. So when you click that, it's gonna give you all these different things that you can actually pull from and utilize and use. And QR code will be one of those options. Um, something that is kind of cool is you can insert videos, 
Um, the feature that Jamie's, excuse me, Jody's going to show you a little bit later on here, that's going to go ahead and that's something you could easily do for that feature, um, all sorts of stuff. But we're going to hurry quickly and we're going to do this. The QR code that I wanted, actually, I wanted it to go to www.allthingssent.com forward slash, crap, what did I name it, Jody? What did I name it? I named it. Sent. Sent. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. <laughs> we were discussing that earlier. So once I hit generate code, it automatically generates and I'm able to move that and do with it as I please. Now to keep this going super duper quick, I have on my other screen, this uh, file similar to this open. And so I'm just gonna pull and copy and paste from that. But um, basically whenever you wanna add a text image, you would click this text box and it will allow you to use these up here to create whatever text you want. So some text that I've already created and something that I like to do anytime you use a QR code is, um, I like to tell them, hey, scan here with your phone. Why isn't this not working? Control C. Oh, control A, control C. Okay. Sometimes talking and working at the same time doesn't work. Um, so I want them to scan here with their camera for all things Sensi so that they know, like, if they're not familiar with QR codes, I don't know how they wouldn't be through COVID, but in case they don't. Um, it didn't copy my font, so I'm going to click the, the type, and I'm going to choose the font that I want, and there we go. Something cool that I do love that you can do is I'm going to go up here towards this bar, and it gives you all sorts of cool features, but this one I am going to change my line spacing to make that a little bit more narrow to save me some space. We're going to move this over here and have that there. The next thing I'm going to do is um, I have some graphics that are already uploaded. Actually, Jamie sent them to me. We're going to use them but some different graphics that I'm going to pull from anywhere. Pretty much if you go and copy and paste an image, Facebook anywhere, and paste it into Canva, it will pull over for you. So that's how I got those. We're going to stick those there. The next thing is um, we wanted a little blurb or some text message here. And so we're going to add that below. Again, you could use the text box um, to the left. And we're going to resize this real quick. Um, and I actually have a really cool thing that I'm going to show you at the end of this that will might be super duper helpful. So stay with me. Um, I think you'll like it. Okay. So then we've got those. Now, the next thing is I'm like, okay, I really want to link them to my social media, right? Like I want them to connect with us in other ways. So Canva has built in under elements over here on the left side, you can simply come in and search Facebook logo and it will pull all these different Facebook logos for, for you. Um, and they're free. So there you go. There's that one. Maybe that Facebook doesn't um, fit your branding and your colors, right? We'll resize that. And you can come up here and you can change the color to whatever you want. Super duper simple. Um, so we've got Facebook. We want, let's say, Instagram. Um, Instagram. We'll resize that. I'm just clicking the corners and I'm just dragging. The other thing I think that was really important when we were talking about this yesterday that Ross said um, was you can come in here and play with it. And guess what? You can't ruin anything. It's just like your workstation. If you're like, what the heck is she doing? I don't understand this. This doesn't make any sense to me. How am I ever going to learn this? You literally can come in with play with this and you cannot ruin anything. Like everything's undoable, everything's savable, all of that. Um, last but not least, I'm going to put our information here for people to follow us. And right there, I have created a label that I can then just hit download. It has some sizing in here. I hit download to my computer. I'm going to open this Word document, which I already have saved here. A blank document. I'm going to show you literally, that's how, this is how quick this is. Um, I'm going to my top bar. I'm going to choose mailings right here. You see my little arrow labels over here on the left. We are going to, this is already set up for a shipping label because I already did this the other day, new document. I'm going to go back to my browser where I downloaded that. Close out of that, click it, drag it into my word label, maybe, okay, we'll do this a different way. Let's go here, downloads, click, drag, drag, and drop. And then I just have to go through and line these up 
and then I'll be able to just print them and they'll be good to go. That's literally how easy it is. Now, a couple of things I wanna show you real quickly, and I'm gonna do this for you right now. I'm gonna come up here to this top box and you wanna make sure that you name this whatever you want. So we're gonna name this catalog label. Can't type, it's fine. So now that's renamed. I can share this. And this is, if you are a leader and you are ever sharing anything, or you see somebody sharing something and they don't do this, please share this tip with them. You can come down here where you normally would just say, I'm gonna click real quick, I'm gonna copy link, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna hit this drop down, share as a template, because this is gonna allow me to share this with you without you being able to edit mine, but it will make changes only for you. If I do it just from this regular one, then if I make a change, or if you notice like you're seeing different people's changes, that's because they didn't do that. Now I can come back over here to the chat with you guys, drop this link. And if you click on that on your browser, you will have that as a template that you can use in your Canva. And you can just go in and edit it and you have access to all of that. Obviously you need to change out your QR code because this is gonna link to mine. Um, I'm not gonna show you where that links yet. Hopefully we'll have time to get to that um, before we wrap up for the night, but we will tie in with what Jody's gonna share. So that is what I have. That's creating a standard label. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the round sticker label, right? Just the round circle mm -hmm. label. Um, all right, share screen. Oh, we got it. Will you enable screen share, babe? Okay, so we are back at Canva again. Oh gosh, I got all this stuff. And again, you're gonna create a design. Just type in circle sticker and one will come up, the little templates will come up. Sometimes there, you wanna check the size. So a lot of times I'll go in and I'll make it the two inch by two inch, depending on what stickers you are um, buying at the store. So see like it'll change it to a square, which you can still work with. So here, this is kind of what I wanted to show you is because it doesn't have to be a circle on this paper for you to use it as an image to put on a label. You really can start with any blank canvas as long as it's roughly the same size as your label that you're gonna print on. So just keep that in mind, whether it's square, whatever. Um, I've had to reshape and shrink it down or make it bigger to fit on the two inch round labels. Um, that's what I actually use. Um, and I think when I created this, I, I honestly think I may have used like something like this um, when I did create mine. Um, you can create in the background and you can change your colors um, if you want it to be more of a vibrant. Um, see how when you click on this, this is, it's grouped as one thing. And I love the lines because it tells you if it's centered or not. That's what those pink lines going up and down, what so you know whether you're getting straight um, in the paid version, I don't know if this is the free, I am the paid version because I do everything I make in Canva, but you can just click that ungroup and now you have these um, can be separate where you can, well, it didn't do it, but it's supposed to, oh, there it goes, where you can um, make the changes. So what I would do is um, put my website I do caps because sometimes our eyeballs just um, work better, even if it's, they don't have to put it like that in um, typing it into the computer, but our brain recognizes, I think, to distinct the capitals versus the small letters. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. Um, the next thing you could do is you could add, I love um, adding my face to things because it's, all your realtors and stuff do their branding with their face, but a face with a name, it's, it works really well. Um, in the paid version, um, this was done on the Cartoon Me app, the Tune Me app on the computer, but I don't want, now again, this is paid version. Um, you can't do this in the free, but you can erase the backgrounds where it'll just take the background away, it erases it, and it'll just have the silhouette. Um, and when you're playing with it a lot of times, um, let's say the round sticker isn't coming out necessarily, you can flip it to where you could be a different direction, if you will, if it looks better. Um, so you're able to do, 
well, I don't want to go upside down, but the other way, whichever way that looks best for your label, you can do. Um, I'm going to put my name here. And again, you can shrink it and make it, you can do call or text so they know it's my cell phone. I mean, who? that's pretty much what everybody does nowadays, but um, you can do that. And then something else that you, if you feel like adding extra things, or if you maybe want the, um, the logos, you could probably, do I have the logo? Let me see. I think it's gonna be under logos. And again, you would download this from the workstation to get your Scentsy logo and you would upload it. And here it's gonna go into my, oops, I just, wait, whoops, sorry, whoop, hit back. So you hit the back arrow and if you make a mistake, you really can't mess it up. Um, see the little cross here? That's where you can drag it and drop it. So you don't have to necessarily click on the image itself. It's the cross um, with the arrows. Just click that and you can start moving it around um, if it makes it a little bit easier for you. Um, something I also like to do if you wanna add a little bit of text or do a little bit of something different, when you're adding a heading, it'll be large, subheading, a little bit medium-sized font, a little body of text. Um, you can do that as well. Um, and you could pick your font and choose, but they have a lot of these that are already done. Um, like this one I love because it's just it's just kind of fun looking and it gets your attention. Um, so I'm clearly not gonna use um, that tiny little thing though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click ungroup. So it ungrouped all those things. I'm gonna click on the one thing there and hit delete on my keyboard. And I'm gonna, join my team. Um, see how the spacing is so like, it has got too big of gaps. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click the line spacing and I'm gonna bring these boogers closer together. That way it's fitting in a smaller area. And again, this is all loose where you can move it around now. You don't wanna click those cause you'd really be in trouble um, by resizing that circle, but there is a way to fix it because you can go over here, you can highlight all of the little circles and I can group the circles now as one. So when I move it, it's not little itty bitty tiny things. Um, join my team and I'm gonna, instead of the 59 in the US, I'm gonna put 39 because we can always use that $20 host credit and get their attention with a $39 kit instead of 90, I mean, $59. So maybe you want something like that on your label that stands out. That way you can put little recruiting plugs where you can. And again, you may have to shrink this down and play with it depending on the size of your label, but it really is just a blank canvas. Um, that you that you use. So let me see. I don't see any questions. Is there any coming in in chat that? No, good. Okay, so I will show you um, really quick then um, one of the labels that I just did and reworked my entire um, label recently. So let me share again. So this was my sticker that I ended up doing. Join for 39, get paid on your purchases, $200 a year minimum required. So this is what I, and I already had them printed up and I used them. And that's the sticker that I put on all of my products now because I want that join opportunity. It is a little small to read, but I, I'd rather it be on there than not. So you can really customize and put whatever you want on your round labels. I know. A lot of people do them um, and they just like the look of a round one, but a square one is just as effective, just as long as a label is on it. All right, Jamie or Jody, I don't know yep, who's next. I'll go, I'll go. Um, I'm gonna show, okay, screen share, Jamie, making sure I got all the things. I'm nervous for some reason about doing this. <laughs> so bear with me. Okay. I just wanna remind Jamie really quickly, 
to take a breath. And also to point out to you guys, we do this on such a regular basis that like sometimes explaining things, it's almost like you can't even process through it because we do it so much. So just do keep that in mind and don't be nervous, Jamie, because you got it. Okay. This. Can y'all see my screen? Okay. It's just a blank screen, right? Blank canvas. Okay. I want to also say really fast that I learned from Callie in the very beginning. Actually, I learned from both of y'all. Um, and I'm sure I've heard it before, but forgot where you could go in and customize that size at the very beginning, Callie. And then Heather, I forgot about the grouping and then grouping feature, like totally forgot. So I don't even know what template I use. I just grabbed, I think maybe a business card one. I'm not even sure, just something blank. I'm gonna show you how I do a watermark. It's when y'all see how easy it really is, you're gonna be like, what? Um, I add a text. Um, I did the heading one, like Heather said, just because that's what stands out. Um, don't, don't be like Jamie and spend forever finding the perfect font. Don't get caught up in it. Okay. Um, up here is effects and I love this curved feature, but like, that's a little too curved. So let's back it up and then size it up however you want, whatever. Um, I'm just like doing this super fast. So, oh, oh. And yes, I could totally do the the lo logo, which I could still add, but this, I was playing around earlier. So this is what I did. Um, and then, um, my website, whatever information you want to put here, it's totally up to you. Um, and also, a watermark in case no one knows what I'm talking about. Like just basically to put on any branding, like maybe you made a cute flyer or whatever. I mean, I have no idea. Basically whatever, any picture, any, anything. And I, and I don't like how curved that is. So I need to go and fix that again, but later Jamie for purposes. Um, then if you wanna put your phone number, but I too like Callie, I'm not gonna put my real number because hello. And so this is probably what I would put. You can add, um, like Heather, I like to put a cute picture sometimes. Um, it, it depends. Oh, Got to make sure you're on the right thing there. Okay. Um, there. I don't know if I would honestly, and I don't know if anyone showed that yet, the transparency, how you can make something lighter. I probably won't do that on this, honestly, because this is just a watermark. Um, and then I felt like there was something else I was going to show you, but here's the main part to know about the watermark. This is the most important part. When you go to save it, you're going to get image, look, look, transparent background, download. Then it makes it where you won't have the white background to be able to apply it to flyers that you make. Um, like Heather makes a beautiful newsletter every month for all of us. And she usually has a blank copy to share. This is where you can take your watermark and apply it right to that um, and, and be able to share that out to your customers. But like I said, you can put this, you can do a million, I could spend forever doing this and doing all kinds of things because I think it's so much fun. Like Heather said, it's a creative outlet. And I don't feel like, I feel like with Canva, I can do anything. <laughs> My son came last week and needed to make something for school. I was able to sit down and do it on Canva and showed him like in five seconds. And it was really great. Um, the main thing is when you make your watermark, make it legible. Uh, maybe you don't want the curved. Maybe you want it right back to normal. This is great. Just make sure you can read things very legibly. You want people to like know what your website is and what your phone number is or whatever information you're wanting to put and that it's not too over the top. You know what I mean? Like just, just get to the point because you're really wanting them to look at your pretty flyer, not how much time you spent on your watermark. So I think that's really all I have to share. Just make sure you save with that transparent background. Jody. Every time we talk about um, Canva, I learn new stuff every single time. So if you guys have not used Canva and this is overwhelming you, 
don't let it just get in there and start playing around. And there's a lot of videos that you can watch on Canva and you can always, you know, hit up somebody who you know, uses it frequently and just ask them. So we've been using Canva a lot for many years. And like I said, I still learn something every time we discuss it. So I'm going to show you guys. I was so enamored by all this. I didn't even pull up my Canva. <laughs> so let me do that. So we are going to, I'm going to show you how to do um, some clickable things with it. I'm not going to go into maybe so much of the, the nuts and bolts because these girls have already covered how to import an image, how to do all of those different things. But I'm going to show you why a clickable link and how it's useful for partying. And I learned this from Kimmy Heinerman. I don't know if she's on here. I just want to make sure that I give credit where credit is due. So again, I always start with a blank template, always. I almost never use a pre-existing template, meaning something that they've already have features on. So this is what I want to, I want to spend some time on tonight. And I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go through how to import all that because we've already covered it, but this was one of my hostesses. I always steal their images off of Facebook. Not sure if they love that or not, but it is what it is. And that's what I do to make it personal. So I got to move that you guys over here. Let me see if I can minimize you guys. All right. Perfect. I cannot see the chat if anybody's talking, just so you guys know. Okay, so I wanted to make sure I can create something for my hostesses that's really easy for them to use and send to their friends and family. And this is the perfect way to do it. So I started with a, a, a blank image and I added these um, elements in behind it. Whatever it is that you're feeling like, whatever vibe you want, you can use the element section. You can use... Um, I mean, you can use a template. You can use any of these templates like this and just adjust it how you want. So for this instance, I pulled in her photo here and I do wanna show you one thing. Uh, let's do frame, see if this works. So if you type in frame underneath elements, you'll get these different shapes. I don't think this is something we didn't cover. So for just the sake of right now, I'm gonna bring that here. I'm going to take Miss Taylor's image and I'm going to put it in there and it will now make her image whatever shape of the frame that you have you have decided and you can move it around it automatically groups itself grab the corner to shrink grabbing the corners on an image will shrink it proportionally if you grab it from um, in the middle it will stretch it and it won't be proportioned so depending on how you want to use it then I use, obviously, we go over here and we use the text boxes and I just typed in Taylor is hosting a Sensi event. And same thing for all of these, one, two, three, four, just text boxes. But you might be wondering, why are they underlined? So if you click on this, when it's finished, if you were to click on it, it's going to take every person that clicks on it, it's going to take them into my website, her party link. I'm going to do join the party which is uh, also the same information. Also her picture is linked. So pretty, oh, it should be linked, but um, everything that I want them to touch will be linked. This one will take them to my, if you have a form for Google Doc or Jot form, you just simply copy the URL that you want. You paste it in here and it will, let me just try this for you so I can show you exactly what I mean. It is sometimes harder to, um, to explain things because we're just so used to doing them. So just simply copy that, come back here. I'm going to go to her image, see how it's highlighted right there in that box. I click these links, simply paste it and hit enter. There's no underline here because it's an image, but I now know that if they accidentally didn't, you know, meant to click here, but they clicked here, it's going to take them directly to Taylor's page. Same thing for your Google or your Jot form. Just simply copy that URL. Use this link here to paste it. You can shop her party anytime. Again, it takes them to her party link. And then we have this information about here downstairs, you know, stay tuned for the Facebook Live. So if you've created a Facebook event for your hostess, you could easily link that group right here. Um, this tells them that the entire image is completely interactive. Again, where does it go? It goes to the open party. So this is really helpful. Let me pull you guys back up. One second here. Expand it. So what? why I like this is because once we have all of this done and you have it just the way you want it, you're going to go over here to these three lines and you're going to click on website. Then you want to drop it from presentation down to scrolling and then open website. 
Now this link is the link that you could use or you would send to the hostess. Once she sends it to everybody, this is exactly where they're going to come. They're going to come to this web page and they're going to be able to completely click on it. But you can text this link. So now she only has to text her friends and family a link and with a comment that says, hey, I'm hosting at my, my Sensi party. It's super easy. Check it out. Here's all you need to know. Here's all the information. Completely interactive. Whatever words it is that she wants to use. And she just sends them that link. And this is what comes up. But I also like to come back here and I'm going to download this and I'm going to do it as a PNG. I always use PNG. I hit download. Now I have an image as well. So if you want to send the host the image, let me go back. So if you want to send the host the image so that it just makes it a little bit more fun when we can see the image as well, plus the link, they'll know what they're getting into, but the image itself is not clickable. You have to make sure you send that. Um, that website link in order for the host to send it and all of her customers are able to click on this. I have done a few parties this way and they've gone very well and people like the ease of them. I have stopped creating Facebook parties and just started adding their guests to my VIP page, um, which just makes things a little bit easier as well. So you would let, want to link your, your VIP page in there. You could link, your if you're doing something about joining, link your join URL, your host URL. If you're doing a special for a limited time offering and we have that URL available, go ahead and, and send that into one of these. It just makes things simple. And one link will get them to everything they want. You wanna fill out a form, you wanna have a party, you wanna join my team, you wanna to go to my Facebook page, it's all right there. And this is just one of the many features that we can do with a clickable link. And I think Callie, actually Callie and Jamie kind of blew my mind a little while ago before we got on. Again, we're always learning. And I like how they used the clickable link. I have been kind of stuck in this party mode with it, not branching out with my brain until they showed me what they're about to share with you guys. So do Callie, are you taking this part or did Jamie want it? Jamie, do you want to show, you want me to? Are you sure? Okay. So, um, yeah, when, when Kimmy showed us this on a, a Thursday night shift a few weeks back, I was like, oh my gosh, all the places that you can take this and that you can run with it and that you can go. Right. And so, um, actually one day Jamie and I were sitting here and, um, I was like, Hey, we, this is what I've been thinking. I haven't done it. And then like, in, I think it was 10 minutes later, she had this done for her team and she was ready to go. And I was like, well, heck now I got to do it that quick. Right. And so this is actually, for those of you that have a team or a group, this is something that would really work for you guys. Um, where did that one go? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. I'm so sorry. I should have had this up. Hey, Callie, if you need to go to mine, you can, I don't care if you share it. Oh yeah, but I can do that. Or yours. I don't know. I'm just saying like, I didn't, if you no, don't, fine. I think it's good for them to see the different ones. So I went to Jamie's URL for this that she uses for her um, group. her group. And um, it's loading, I think. It should tell me in a second when mm -hmm. you guys have that. Okay, do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is hers. And this is something that she, Jamie, just explain it real quick. I, I just put all the things for where, like things that I feel like my team or group need, like where to find our Facebook page. Basically like, I feel like I'm sharing these links and I post them all the time, but I wanted one landing spot. Like if they type in this website, they can go straight to it and have everything right at their fingertips. Now, I do need to update some of these things. So like the group Dropbox and Amazon tools have not been updated, but when I do, they're ready and they can go to this website and it takes like all of these things are clickable, like Callie can show you, but like, I mean, they, you, you click on these things and that's where it takes you. That's not where that's actually supposed to go, but apparently I need to fix that one. <laughs> so that's the next thing we'll say is when you open this up and you're like, okay, I'm all done and I'm ready to go before you copy this link to your, to your person, click on all these and make sure they go yeah. where you want them to go. Right. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, ours is mine looks very different than Jamie's oh, and yeah. this is what ours looks like. So our team can come and find group pages, calls, recordings, things. I, I haven't set up my Amazon business tools, but I wanted a place for it. And so I put that in there, connecting with us on social media, all of that. Um, another way that I used this, 
uh, was for welcome for my team. Which I still. So, oh, that's wrong. What was it? Crap. Hold on, hold on, let me go back. That one was this one. Okay. And this is actually something I wanted to show you guys before we move past this. So this is what it looks like as I designed it, okay? Um, when you click these three dots, like Jody showed you in the top right corner, to click this website button that says recommended, most of you probably aren't going to have that there because it's not something that you've used. So if you don't see that right there, go under the share feature, click see more, and you'll find website in this list, okay? So website, and then scrolling again and open website. And now this is something that I can text to my new team members so that they can get access to some of our new team stuff. So um, like for instance, um, you know, going and getting the tips that will take you to that website, um, things like that. Now there's, now this is for those of you that don't have teams, okay? This is one that I actually created today because um, last night I was actually doing a pre-order for a new customer. And I just, I'm not really great about setting up a new pre-order form, a new Google form every time there's a new thing. So I just decided, you know what, I need to get all of these different things for customers in one spot. And so that's where this link, allthingsent.com forward slash sent came in. So that QR code that I showed you on that very first label, when you scan it, where that links to is one of these Canva clickable sites. So that's right. Anything that you create and you turn into a QR code, any of these links, they can be these clickable sites right through a scannable QR code. So I created the, I did all of that in Canva, that QR code from that very first label that we made, this one, okay? This QR code, when scanned, if I click that and I click the link button, oh, that's not right, because it's a QR code. I could do that. It's not showing us a QR code right now. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't, I paused my share. Thank you very much. So this one, this thing that we created from the very beginning, that QR code, when they scan that from my catalogs, this is where it's going to take them, okay? So it's this is a, one of those Canva websites. I used this URL right here, and I put that in the QR code feature here. So right back on this label, QR code, I pasted that in here. I have another roundabout way, obviously, that makes things look pretty, but you could go ahead and just paste this We'll do it right now. Control A, Control C, paste this here, generate code. And now it's the same thing, but that's where that will take you, okay? So what I did on here, let's go back and I can give you this template, totally fine with that. You have to go in and change everything. You have to create your own QR codes and all that. But basically when they wanna shop Sensi, they just click there and it's going to take them to the Sensi party. You wanna pre-order your goods? It's going to go ahead and take them to that pre-order Google Doc, Google Form. Um, they want to fill out a customer profile, takes them to the customer profile. So that's what I love. Explore the Sensi life. I decided I wanted to link that to a join page. Um, and then for connecting on social media, if they link, you can, the way uh, Jody had shown or mentioned, you can link images. So I linked this Instagram one to my Instagram. So if they click on that, that's where it's gonna take them, both on their phone and on um, any website. So there are literally so many things that you can do with that. Once you get down the basics of designing and just figuring things out, you can turn anything into your own website to use in your business from parties to, as you can see, the list goes on and on and on. So um, we're like literally at the top of the hour. I want to say, is there any questions, but I think that everybody's brains are probably spinning and thinking of all the things that you can create, right? Um, another cool thing is, yes, you want me to share that template? Let me do that real quick here in the chat before I forget. Kelly, did, I'm sorry if I missed it because I've been multitasking. Did you show how you shared the template so that it won't mess up the original? Like you have- I like, believe I did, but I'll do it again just in case. Right. Just in case. So home- so again, this is my recent designs, right? Um, this is the one that I just showed you guys for what I just created. Um, you will want to, um, you'll want to create all of your own links here, right? So make sure that you do that. The other thing, actually, I'm really glad that you said this, Jamie. I want to show you before I download it. So right here, do you see where it says darling? 
Okay. So the reason that's there is because that's one of the first things I typed. You really want to make sure that you rename this. Like if this was for somebody's, um, like for instance, I want this to be um, get connected maybe, right? That is what they're going to see. Like when they take this link um, that I have, like you'll notice, right? I don't know, my mouse is all over multiple screens. So right here, when I click, see how this says darling, it's popping up right there. That's because when I open that link, that's what it was titled. So you want to title that whatever the person's party is so that when you send them this link, that's what pops up and that's what they're seeing is that title, all right? But let's go back over here. I wanna share this with you guys. So I'm gonna click the share button and then I'm going to come right down here where it says share to edit. I don't want you to edit it. I want you to use this as a template. Then I hit copy and I can go and paste that into the chat. For some reason it keeps defaulting to Teresa only. Um, and now you guys have access to that template. Now, again, very, very important. You have to go through here and clear out my links because if you use my links, then it's not gonna connect to your stuff, right? So just be aware of that, but you can definitely use it. So, okay. Well, this has been on our minds for a while. We hope it was beneficial. I know it's a lot. And for some, your brains really may be spinning, but I hope you guys, it was helpful. So with that, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. We will miss you next week, but we'll be back here December 2nd with Jason Harwood. And yeah, have a great night. Good night, everyone.